what's happening guys in today's video i'm going to talk about the updated weathering waves tier list so this is going to be really crazy because i've been calling this for a very long time and the character that i'm going to talk about in this video is jensen i already made a guide talking about her if you guys haven't watched that guide it's up in the channel you guys can literally search up jensen guide and you will see my video but you guys know that jensen she was placed in b tier like she was placed in b tier or c tier i forgot but she was very underrated in the weathering waves pride win tier list and when i looked at it i was like i don't agree with it because i do feel like jensen is a godly unit and i was not wrong so we're going to go ahead and switch on over to the pride win tier list right here so as you guys can see they literally placed jensen in s tier first she was i think she was in the hybrid category i think she was in hybrid and she was in t1 yes they put her in t1 so they moved her up to basically s tier and they put her in the support category so what does this mean so what this means is jensen not only is she a good unit she is also a good support unit because at first she was like a hybrid unit and if you guys don't know what a hybrid unit is a hybrid unit is a unit that pretty much excels at a lot of things debuffing uh not debuffing but buffing uh being a support and also healing so that's pretty much a hybrid unit but the fact that they put her in support pretty much means that she is a unit that excels when it comes to keeping your team alive she has good aoe damage because she can literally group up enemy trash mobs and she can put them in one specific location and she can deal good damage that is extremely useful in a tower of adversity because there's like a lot of enemies in tower of adversity they're all over the place and you want to make sure that when you are completing tower of adversity you want to complete it as fast as possible so that you can get all three stars and jensen her whole kit is perfect for a tower of adversity so the fact that they moved her up to that s tier it's really really nice because now they're seeing her potential I knew that this character had potential since the beginning that's exactly why i made a guide about her and hopefully you know that guy can become useful now because i'm pretty sure a lot of people they're gonna try to go for this unit since she is placed in s tier now this is why i say this all the time when you guys are playing a game always try to get a character that you enjoy if you don't like a character then just don't go for them at the end of the day the game is all about having fun don't just you know follow a tier list and you, like you your entire your entire like the whole purpose of you getting that character is based off of the tier list if you are a player who's focused on meta then by all means go ahead but remember at the end of the day some units their position in the tier list isn't finalized and i feel like that's what pride when they realize is that they haven't really tested this unit a lot so now that they realize you know this unit is actually insane they moved her up the tier list and they put her in s tier so this pretty much just proves that at the end of the day what matters the most is if you like the character or not because their position in the tier list will change you never know what's going to happen and another thing that changed in this tier list is yinlin yinlin is no longer in this tier list and it's valid the reason why it's valid is because she's not even in the game yet and they probably might change her kit so they pretty much took her out the tier list they're going to put her back into the tier list when she comes out which is going to be in june so that's actually really nice we're going to wait for yinlin to come out to test her and then they're going to place her in her own respective tier so we see gn gn is the only dps unit who's pretty much placed in you know the top like basically he's pretty much placed in like s plus tier he's the best dps unit in the game and i do agree i do feel like gn is the strongest dps unit in the game he has strong heavy attack and his support unit which is um mortify is absolutely amazing because mortify pretty much buffs his damage by like 38 percent because he buffs heavy attack so mortify plus gn alongside with uh varina absolutely insane now when we take a look at uh, when we take a look at the s tier we have kaucharo we also have encore and havoc mc i made a video talking about havoc mc havoc mc is absolutely crazy and the fact that we can actually get more copies on havoc mc makes him even more insane so havoc mc is by far the best havoc dps unit in the game extremely powerful is he going to get power crept in the future probably because there's not really a lot of uh, havoc units if we come over to havoc category we only have three havoc characters so havoc is kind of 
lacking a little bit when it comes to characters but he is a really strong havoc unit to have for now now for Kalcharo, um a lot of people are discussing whether or not Kalcharo is going to get you know power crept in the future i don't believe that's going to happen i don't believe he's going to get power crept let's say in version 1.1 or version 1.2 i feel like Kalcharo is going to remain in that s tier for a pretty long time because of yinlin yinlin is going to make Kalcharo an insane unit he might go up to s plus tier because of yinlin so i do believe Kalcharo his potential will only increase when we get more electro you know hybrid units in the future because yinlin is just absolutely cracked with Kalcharo. she buffs electro damage bonus and liberation damage bonus as well which is absolutely insane for Kalcharo. so i don't believe Kalcharo is going to get power crep but will it come in the future probably now when we come down over here we come to tier two you guys can see that ling yang is tier two which means he's probably i think b or c tier i think the lowest tier is c tier and i think tier two is b tier um ling yang i never played with him but compared to all of the five star characters we have so far i will say that ling yang is very um underwhelming like his performance isn't on par with most of the five star characters we have can he do some good damage sure yes he can do some really nice damage but he just doesn't bring a lot to the table compared to units like let's say Kalcharo, Verena, and of course uh, Jensen. Like these units, they bring so much to the table. And Ling Yang, it's like he's competing with Kalcharo and Encore. And it's like he just can't really keep up with them. So him being in like B tier is understandable. I understand that. So yeah, I just feel like he's very reliant when it comes to his ultimate. Like if you are not in his ultimate form, he's just completely useless. So it is what it is. Um, he can still do some good damage, but he's not as strong. He's not as strong as other five-star DPS units. Now Baiji is still in tier one. I I do feel like Baiji is a very powerful support unit. If you don't have Arena, and I, I I hope you guys actually do have her because she's absolutely broken. But for if for some reason you don't have Arena, then Baiji is a good. Um, he, she's a good side character. Or like Verena, she's like a good replacement of Verena. If you don't have her, Baiji is really nice. She can buff uh, your damage. She can heal. Really, really nice uh, support unit overall. And um, of course, we have Yang Yang, who is still in the same tier with Baiji. And in the lowest tier, we have Tao Chi. Now, when it comes to this character, um, I feel like her potential will only increase in the future because when we look at her, if we come over here to her, a uh, concerto skills. If we look at her outro skill, it says the next character gains 38% resonance skill damage deepened for 14 seconds. So I do feel like her outro skill will be useful in the future. But as of to right now, there's not really a lot of characters who benefit from this resonance skill damage. Everyone mostly focuses on like the characters that we have right now. They're mostly benefiting from their ultimate. Let's say Kalcharo, he benefits from his resonance liberation. We have a Jian who benefits from heavy attack. And we also have Encore who benefits from basic attack. And we have a uh, Havoc Rover who also benefits from basic attack as well. So there's not really a lot of DPS units who benefit from resonance skill. So as of to right now, she's pretty much useless. But I do feel like in the future, her potential will increase if we end up having characters who rely on a uh, resonance skill. So her being in like, the lowest tier is understandable because she doesn't really work well with anybody because of that resonant skill buff it's pretty useless as of to right now but i do see her potential in the future if there's going to be a unit who relies on resonant skill so overall that's pretty much the updated tier list it does look a lot better because i'm not gonna lie before this updated tier list it was kind of iffy because jensen was placed in like tier two or tier one and Havoc MC was placed in the same tier as Dan Jin. And Senhua was also low on the tier list as well. So those three characters, they definitely needed to like they definitely needed to move those characters up. Because these three characters, I do feel like uh Senhua is extremely powerful because of that basic attack damage buff. And she is very easy to rotate with. Like you can quick swap with Senhua easily, and she works really, really well with havoc mc because of that basic attack buff so this is definitely a better um updated tier list and definitely looking forward to more updated tier lists and pride win 
and that's pretty much all i have for you guys in today's video make sure you guys hit that like button subscribe if you haven't i really appreciate it and what do you guys think about this tier list overall is it good is it bad i want to see y'all's opinions so make sure that you type your opinions in the comment section down below but i hope you all have a good one and i'll be catch you guys on the next one peace